smack the ball. He's been very effective in the couple of uh, substitute appearances he's been on, and I know the flat fans are really looking forward to seeing him flourish as a res residency player come pro. Martin goes for a tumble, and Minnesota wins possession back again. Jeremiah Bass. Sanchez, left-footed ball, easily cut out by Charles. But there's big Civilicus to nod it forward. A little push by West Charles, and he's going to get called for that. And the referee not happy that he kicked the ball away. Has a word. Minute number 49, and another set-piece opportunity for Sanchez to work with. Yeah, a bit of a mi mismatch there. I don't know if he needed to push him, but just a little push, and big guy like that is going to have an effect. The last free kick was very effective from Ricardo Sanchez. Peterson's uh, just camped out wide left. Whitecaps have a three-man wall. I don't think that uh, Sanchez is going to try his luck from here. And the Whitecaps holding a very thin line along the 18-yard box. Well, Sanchez does have a go, and it's on target. Jay Nolly made sure he got both hands firmly behind it. Not a bad effort, though. No, it wasn't. Must have been watching Christian Ronaldo there. To, uh, <laughs> a bit ambitious to hit it that, that far, but caused a few problems. Look at the overlapping run by West Knight, and that's a great ball from Lyle Martin. West Knight on his right foot, then his left, dancing, trying to get outside. Peterson carries on, but Peterson is knocked over. And after a great overlapping run, you saw the pace of West Knight there. The Whitecaps concede a foul and will turn possession back over. One thing they really have changed this year at the Whitecaps is brought in some pace. So you see, you know, Knight was a very quick player, and then they added Burgess, as we've seen. Lyle Martin already was pretty quick. Marcus Haber up front. Yeah, and you can't teach that. It's just so great to have in the, the, the side because it's always a threat. Had a quick look at Don Gremens there. This team is so uh, associated with the Lagos family. Of course, Buzz was the longtime coach of the Thunder. He now does the uh, color commentary on the USL live broadcasts out of Blaine. And one of the great characters in American soccer. And his son Manny is, of course, involved in the Minnesota organization. Pirano knocks it off the legs of Tarly and out for a white cap throw at midfield. Second year white cap. Harano number 22. Burgess with a little flick looking for Haber, but Arango is the first man there to thump it into midfield. Nice touch by Harano. Burgess on the deck for Chin. Switches play. Nicely done for Lyle Martin. Look at Martin Nash on the run. And Martin tried to play him in first time. A good run by Nash, though. Sanchez closed down by Burgess and nicely stolen away by Martin, who recovered. Good tackle there by... Diachenko. Tarly cuts inside on Chin. Minnesota's had a, a really decent game. They'll be happy with their effort on the road here. They'd love to get an equalizer. Kirk. Good turn by Quirk. A little bit of a shirt tug there by Burgess. Awkward header away from Knight. As the Southsiders crank up the volume to our right. Nash. Old man up front is Marcus Haber. He couldn't hold the ball up. And away goes Arango. Knox. Diachenko. Top of the area for Tarly. Good possession. Here's Sanchez. He could rear up and try one from here. Back onto his left foot. Tries to get outside on Nash. That's good defending. No diving in. Diachenko, Tarly onside, Mel Tarly, right footed ball in the box, Nolly dropped it, flag goes up now, and I'm not sure what that flag was for, maybe somebody was a little ahead of the play there. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're the, the prodding, uh, get a lot of possession in the, the midfield there and trying to probe the way uh, behind that back line of the Whitecaps again, a very thin line, trying to play offside. Well, that time... I thought it was Tarly who was actually offside. All the players looked like they were in behind the defenders. The Whitecaps a little fortunate there as Nolly couldn't corral that particular cross. And that's one thing the uh, Minnesota coach will probably not be happy with is the amount of times his side has been caught offside. BK goes down and it's Arango who was the man who knocked down the big 98 already on a yellow card. So 
I think it was a good idea to help Charles back up. Again. Yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting. Minnesota are defending a lot deeper now to protect them balls so over the top. So the Whitecaps have to get it into the forwards' feet now, and then get it wide. Nash to the feet of Lyle Martin. Little touch inside. Mason Trafford was way up there as well. Last man back is Wesley Charles. Little touchdown for Chin. And then Charles square to Nash who pelts it forward. And I'm not sure if Burgess is going to be able to catch up to this one as it's off and out. Minute number 54. Whitecaps 1, Minnesota nil. Peter Shad and Carl Valentine here on Save on Foods. Whitecaps.